Hi, this is Faith of TheInspiredEdge.com coming to you today. Um, today I have been canning all day. <laughs> um, I got a little crazy yesterday, bought a case of tomatoes, bought a case of apples, and um, we had talked about being gluten free. And I've gotten a little aggravated at the prices in the store for things that are, are gluten free. Um, so I decided to buy a case of tomatoes yesterday. And today I have made, take a look at that, I have made seven jars of homemade salsa, um, cilantro lime, by the way, and seven jars of spaghetti sauce because in the store the spaghetti sauce that is labeled organic and gluten free was $5 a jar. And personally, it's really expensive. <laughs> so if you haven't tried canning, you should give it a try. It is actually very easy to do. It is a little time consuming. Um, you will be in the kitchen all day if you do a batch like this, but it is well worth the effort as you can see of uh, these beautiful jars that we've got here and the salsa that came out of that. Whoops. <laughs> and that is We got seven jars of salsa, we've got seven pints of spaghetti sauce, and we still have a half a case of tomatoes to go to make more um, food out. Tomorrow we're going to make bruschetta and um, basil garlic tomato sauce and just steamed tomatoes to have in the pantry for the winter. So it's definitely worth the time to do. Um, a few things if you've never tried canning, get yourself a book. Go down now before the canning supplies are out of the stores. Buy yourself just a canning book. It will be by the canning supplies. They run about seven bucks is all. And it will take you step by step through the canning process. Now, I don't do, I ha, do the pressure cooking canning because I don't have a pressure cooker right now. Um, that is a little, um, little more complicated in the foods that you use there, but um, I use a hot pack. You can see here I've just got, we have um, these being cold packed in here, what they call, and just in boiling water. So you, you know, once you've got everything bottled and stuff, you put them in boiling water for the time for each recipe. So while we're on the subject of recipes, I'm going to share the salsa recipe with you and um, so that you can make your own. Now, if you don't want to can this, you can freeze it. So for both the, the salsa and the spaghetti sauce, you can also use your freezer and put them in containers and freeze it. So for the salsa, you need eight cups of tomatoes. Now the tomatoes need to be peeled, chopped, and drained. The easiest way to peel, blanch the tomatoes is put you on a pot of hot water, um, wait till it starts to boil, throw your clean tomatoes in the hot water, and then it usually only takes one or two minutes, and you'll see the, the, them start to crack and the peels starting to come off. Then you take them out of the hot water with a slotted spoon. Let them cool because they will be very hot. And then just peel that peeling right off of them. It's, and then you can chop them up. I always take a little bit of the hard stem out of the core and then chop up the rest. And you can use, you know, if you have a food processor, it's even quicker. I chop them up by hand. Um, two and a half, so you need eight cups of tomatoes, peeled, chopped, and drained. Or if you want it to be a little bit richer like this one, I didn't drain it. Two and a half cups of onions chopped, one and a half cups of green peppers, one jalapeno pepper chopped, six garlic cloves minced, or you can buy the minced garlic in the store that's already done for you in the jars, and it's one teaspoon for every garlic clove, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of pepper, one eighth cup of salt, one third cup of sugar, one third cup of vinegar, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and one can of tomato paste. 
And I also put in, because I like lime and cilantro in my salsa, I put in a handful of cilantro that I chopped up and I squoze the juice from one lemon and also grate, grated the rind off that, uh, not lemon, excuse me, lime, and also grated the uh, rind off that lime to put in the salsa as well. So those are, you know, keep in mind like if you, you can adjust the recipes a little bit to your taste with the extra things you, you put in there. You can't really adjust it from the, the vinegar, the salt and sugar and stuff like that so much, but you can adjust it for like peppers, if you don't like a lot of peppers, and put more onions and that type of thing. Anyways, this is the simple part. You mix all this together in a pot and you cook it for 10 minutes. That's it, 10 minutes, you're done. Ladle it into your jars if you're gonna can it like this. Clean off the top of your jars, put your hot lids on there, and put it in a bath for 10 minutes. Um, this gave me seven quarts. So that kind of, or seven pints, excuse me. I don't do quarts because my family isn't big enough. <laughs> it's easier to do pints. So there you have it. That will make you a wonderful cilantro lime salsa. And like I said, if you don't can and you're, you don't have the, the stuff to can, then you can also freeze the salsa and then thaw it out and use it later. Um, so there is the salsa recipe, and we will share the spaghetti recipe with you on another video. And thank you for listening, and this is Faith with TheInspiredEdge.com.